everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you all all of my Inktober sketches and slash paintings. So right now is November 2nd. Um, I finished a total of nine paintings. Um, I didn't get to do all 15 of them, which I was supposed to do 15 and Sophia was for the month of October, but we weren't able to, so yeah. But in this video, I'll be showing you all of the art that I've made, and yeah, I hope that I don't upload this video too late, um, but if so, oh well. Also, watch to the end because I will be showing two extra Inktobers that I did not get to um, film, um, so they're not on my channel, but they will be in this video, so stay tuned for that, and be sure to watch to the end so that you can see them. And one of the ones that I'll be showing at the end is also my second favorite, so stay tuned. I hope you all I like them very much. So this isn't as organized as I would have liked to have it, but it's, it's something. This is our very first time doing the Inktober challenge, so it's not perfect. Um, we did kind of switch up some of the rules to kind of fit our preference, so... Yeah, the first few paintings is in this book right here. Unfortunately, some of them kind of ripped out. I wish I had chosen another book for it, but it's a done deal now. So the, f the first two paintings ripped out of the book, so I'll have to just hold it and show it to you all like that. So the first one, this is what it looks like. So, um, yeah, I'll read the scripture to you and then go on and explain what this is about. So the scripture is in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. The grass withers, the flower fadeth, but the word of our Elohim shall stand forever. So basically what I drew was some echinacea flowers. That's wilting. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then I drew some like grass in the background along with some hills, water, um sky and then the sky I have some birds here in the corner that's flying but they're in the shape of D and then this right here is clouds and it's in the shape of words so it's a, the word and yeah I just got this like sunset background and the reflection in the water and so yeah I kind of gave it that look so that you know it, it just has a certain vibe that I like about it unfortunately since it was in the book I didn't get to um, reach the paintbrush to this side, but um, yes, I used ink, I used pens, but with these particular pens, since they were water-based, if you go over it with, uh, with a paintbrush, it will sort of act like watercolor. So you can see different lines and stuff in there, but I went over it with pens so that it can kind of fade and look a little bit more like a painting. Now, I went over it while it's wet, that way it will spread. Um, and then I used a white pen for like highlights and the sun. I just kind of spread the ink out so it like shines like the sun. So yeah, this is the first painting. So here's the next Inktober drawing. Um, I did the same, I used the same technique on this particular piece of art with the pens and then using the paintbrush. Um, you can actually check out the videos where I actually did some of these paintings so yeah um basically let me just read the scripture to you real quick it's in psalms chapter 104 verse 19 he made the moon mark the seasons the sun know it's time for setting so i just kind of took half of this page and did the moon side and then the sun side and did some interesting little highlights with white pen to implicate mountains on both sides and it kind of links but this side you see the sign this sign you see the moon so yeah i really like this one this is definitely my favorite so yeah the only thing i wish i had done different was write the word smaller like yeah the words right here i wish i had written them smaller but it's fine so the next one is in the actual book this one is probably my least favorite, but it's okay. It It's basically two people standing in the water. One water, should I say. And yeah, you can see the clouds and the sky. The scripture says, it's in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. 
it says for we walk by faith not by sight so yeah they have like blindfolds on they they're not really seeing what they're doing but they feel it so yeah it's an okay drawing it's not the best in my opinion so the next one is a fig tree um there's a lot going on with this one it's very interesting let me go and read the scripture it's in Isaiah chapter 34 verse 4 and it says all the hosts of heaven shall rot away and the skies roll up like a scroll all their hosts shall fall as leaves fall from the vine like leaves falling from the fig tree so as you all can see there's like little parts where there's figs um, there's a few leaves here and there falling and um, you can see like a vine just overtaking the tree in different spots and just growing all up in different places and then on top I have a scroll here where the words are in the scripture scriptures on the side so yeah and then um, these are basically like the souls or like the host of heaven that are like falling and these little white shapes that's what they're supposed to represent so yeah this is very in my opinion abstract I really wasn't trying to make it look so dark and abstract but a lot of people liked it so I'm glad with how it turned out it's definitely not one of my favorites but yeah so to the next one this is also one of my favorites it's more simplistic but it's abstract and yeah it's just a path leading to the light let me read the scripture so this scripture is in Psalms 119 verse 105 and it says that word is a lamp unto my feet a light unto my path so basically it shows footsteps going up the path to the light and on the side I just did like some random shapes and it turned out to look like something and then with the sky I put like all these different colors mostly dark and dim colors just to like bring out a certain mood that I was trying to accomplish so yeah I actually like this one a lot because I love abstract art and I love um, things that it looks nice but it's not necessarily anything so yeah I like art like that and I was glad with how this one turned out so the next one is a little weird too um let me just go on and read the scripture before I show it to you so the scriptures in Psalms 34 and 15 I realize I actually get a lot of scriptures from Psalms so it goes like this the eyes of Yahuwah are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cries so what I have here is a woman she's crying and her tears are falling into like this big ear <laughs> which is weird but yeah like the ears are like catching they're hearing her cries to the point to where like it's it's filled up with her tears basically like her tears represent like her prayers and her different you know things that she pray about and then the eye up here obviously it sees her it sees what she's going through and everything else so yeah it's very very different um there's not like much color except for um her tears and like the ear and the eye of course but for the most part i want to keep it kind of colorless in the sense where it kind of has like this certain mood like you know she's going through something it kind of gives off that vibe it's kind of like gloomy it's not a lot of color so yeah so this is sketch number six um inktober drawing number six um so i'm gonna go on and read the scripture and then explain what it means so the scriptures in Luke chapter 11 verse 3 no man when he has lit a candle puts it in a secret place neither under a bushel but on a candlestick that they that come in may see the light and so first I have back here like a little doorway and it shows like a bush next to the doorway and there's people inside and those people's life right now they may be going through something or like maybe they're still on their journey to like the light or like 
their journey and their relationship with the hour. Anything. It could be anything. But right now, you can't really see because it's not time for you to see. So it's they're basically in a secret place. And then right here, it shows um, those same two people in the door, standing in the doorway. But there's a light all around them, and they're starting to light up themselves. But you can't quite see them yet because they're still in their journey and their light isn't to be revealed yet until Yah is fully in the midst. So that's basically what it means. It's a very simple drawing. It's actually one of my least as far as what it looks like because it's, you know, it's very simple. There's not much work that was done here, but it's, it's, it's something. So these are the two that um, a lot of you all didn't already see. These two that I'm about to show, they're in a different book that I have here. Um, they're not all too amazing, but they're, let's just see what you all think. So the first one, I really like this one. This has got to be like my second or third favorite one. And it's a snail. Um, my sister helped me out with like getting the idea for this. Um, I found the scripture and I was like, I really want to like do a piece of art for this. So the scripture is in Psalms chapter 58 verse 7. And it says, as a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. So, I have a snail here. Um, and as you can see, there's like drips all over it because it's melting. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one a lot. I had some different pins, they're gel pins I believe. And it just came out a lot more vibrant. Although it has like dull colors, it's a lot more deep as far as color and shine. Like it's very shiny. I, I'm not sure if you all can tell, but it's very shiny. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one and this is definitely one of my favorites. And so the next one is one that you all have not seen yet. Um, it's just somewhere in the middle. It's not my favorite, it's not my least favorite, but it's a bird and some more melons. And I'll go ahead and read the scripture to you all. It's in Psalms 11, chapter 11, verse 1. And it says, In Yahuwah put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. So here I have a bird. I'm not sure if you can tell because it's all black, just with a little bit of red. And it's flying towards some mountains. I kind of wanted to draw some mountains again, just basically to practice like different shapes and shading and all of that um, because after all this Inktober challenge is definitely to help improve to help me improve in my skills so yeah I wanted to try the mountains again just to like get that exercise for my hand and everything and so this is very simple I got little grass patches here and there got the bird and a little bit of blue in the sky so yeah it's very simple but this is also helping me. This whole Inktober challenge definitely helped me as far as like speed because I would go like some weeks or even months at a time before I would make another piece of art. So this whole Inktober sketch has definitely helped me um, get my art done faster. So yeah, it's been very fun. I really enjoyed it. And especially the part of like finding scriptures and adding the scripture I think it added a great element to the whole challenge so yeah I hope you all like the paintings and slash sketches that I made um we're gonna show them all one last time just a quick slideshow this is number one this is number two this is number three This is number four. This is number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. And number nine. I actually miscounted as I as I can see now I miscounted I have nine sketches and not eight 
So yeah, with that being said, I hope you all like this um, challenge that me and my sister participated in. Go over to her channel at Sophia Yisrael and check out some of her Inktober sketches as well. She did some very awesome pieces of art. I really love her art. It's amazing and I always draw inspiration from her. So yeah, check out her channel. I'll put some of her videos in my description box and I'll add other information there as well. Also check my community where I'll probably post pictures of the art that I did and different things there. So with that being said, stay tuned for more art videos. I have a lot more in store, a whole lot more ideas. This Inktober challenge really got me wanting to get back into art more than I was before. So yeah, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for other videos that I plan on doing, including some singing videos. We have a few that we'll be uploading sooner or later. So please be patient with us. With that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like.